No hello, it's another vlog. <laughs> oh, again. Again. So we're here at the lovely new site of Tall Bottom and we've just gone around and unlocked everything, put fuel in the generators. It's taken us about two hours to do it. There's yeah. um, a lot of keys and a lot of locks. We have got a little flow of us today. Hi. Say hi guys. Say hi to all your adoring fans. So anyway, the new site. I think we're just going to do like a little, like a little vlog of the weekend. Like behind the scenes with the crew. Yeah, usuals. Yeah. Oh, so the, the brief for this weekend anyway. So the players have been asked to come and investigate a location where there are a number of Lonu soldiers who refused to go back to the capital city of Jared's front when the war against the Brotherhood ended. Are, are you seriously sure telling me this one on fire in this event? It's all right. It's a play, really. So the players are going to come here and investigate what's going on with this uh, commander or captain, Captain Willem de Mark, played oh, by uh, Jake, yeah. speaking to the guards who have stayed here and why they're still here. Naughty, naughty. Is it a divine calling or has he gen genuinely gone mad? Who knows? We'll, we'll see. Or maybe a bit of both. Yeah. We've got lots of fun encounters planned. Most of the combat encounters this weekend are corrupted elementals, which were our last weekend up and uh, goblin attacks. Gobba gobba. So part of the, um, the Moon Glen that was at the old site, Caddington, has mysteriously been drawn to this location and is all fractured. And there will be a lot of corrupted elementals still following the Moon Glen to this location because the players did a ritual at our last event to draw them to it, to take their essence and kind of reverse engineer it to cure the lands. Yeah. And then we've got lots of fun things, like we've got the uh, the Gnomish post box. Yep. Oh, I saw you making that. Yeah. The players will find posters of riddles and they have to write down their answers and post them into the Gnomish letter box. We've got a trial. The first, the first trial of a, of a player as well. Yeah. So I'm going to do one of three responses. You can edit it. So, oh, sorry we killed darkness, but you broke the law. <laughs> or there will be, sorry darkness has gone to prison, but you broke the law. Or it will be, um, how did you get away with it? Oh my oh. God, you're innocent. Yay. So just, just cut and change whatever one it was. We, we don't even know. We, we don't even know. I might leave all three in and then put in what actually happened here. Wow, I can't believe oh. that was the result. Oh my God. Shocking. Oh, the sun's coming out. The sun is just coming out, blistering. So we've got some other fun bits. We've got the players hunting for items for a recipe, a, a alchemy potion that they need to make. Um, and they'll have to go around the site and harvest materials. There's a little thing called a, a nim nim. Put that in here, look. There it is. Look. So they basically have to crack these open, physically crack them open, like fortune cookies. And there'll be a little note inside saying, whether they've inhaled toxic gases and they're dead, or they were successful. <laughs> okay, you made like a hundred of those. I saw you piercing them. Yeah. Falling up paper. How are even fitting that? And how would, how would someone just break them open? I don't know, it took me um, two evenings to do a hundred. But it's good, it's something new and different that we have yeah. to find. Buff sites, so there's a little standing stone, as you can see. Um, that we've made, and depending on what prayers are said to whichever gods they, uh, the players worship, they'll receive little gifts in the form of stat buffs or maybe little presents. Chocolates, was that, I don't know. Mm. Little chocky stats. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got the coffin mask, so we, we've got um, some new monsters. They're called <coughs> They. I'll try and film a bit of this in character so you can see who they are and why they're wearing masks carved from coffin wood on their face. I'm sure you know the whole backstory behind them because I'm just asking so many questions. Do you know? Well, there's, there's loads of stuff there's going so on. Yeah. Let's just get into it. Let's just yeah. go for it. Yeah. Let's just go for it. We'll film some bits. Let's and, um, go. Yeah, see what's going on. Woo! Yeah, there's bar contest. Woo! Bye. Let's go into the long house. Here we are, so much more space. So this is our new crew quarters rather than the cottage. There's only a bit of stuff in here at the moment, but we've got, we've got tables. We've got a back door, leads us like our little patio. Should we, should we go and have a look at the patio? 
When we came for a visit, we saw a dead rabbit. <laughs> yeah, that was a dead rabbit. Let's cut it. No, that's not. It's got fatty, yeah? I think there's still gut remains. Is there still gut remains? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we got a nice little white door area for crew now. Let's have a look at the new kitchen. And look at the space. So yeah, if you're crewing, you get access to all this. Luxury. Players aren't allowed to come in here, unfortunately for them. But again, luxury for the crew, isn't it? Oh yeah. And uh, this is the oh, snacks. complimentary snacks and drinks for crew for the weekend. The so fanciest and most expensive coffee. Tea, real coffee, fruit, sweets, biscuits, crisps. Oh, so much squash. Unbelievable. Spoiled. Oh no. We spoil our crew. Can't believe it. Really do, and it's free to crew. So you should crew. Yeah. And then come and get access to lovely snacks and real coffee. For the player barn tour. So this is one of the barns, there's three of them. So let's go and have a look. We've just finished this one, it's taken quite a while. Two hours, most likely. Two hours, is it? Mm, most likely. So depending on how many lights are on, the more lights, the worse the situation is. So the players have to use this machine to remove corruption levels and switch off these lights. If it gets to eight, bad things will happen. Flo set this up. A little food corner. Yeah, I can tell. You might be wondering why the hell is there a snail on the meat? Well, there's a little thing called escargot. Ooh, it's see. French snail food. Oh, it's a love safe snail. We've got strip lighting going all the way along. And the same over here. So the thing about this site is there's no electricity in these outdoor barns. Is there, Jake? No, none. But we've got these lovely lights that are absolutely blinding. <laughs> They have a warm light. That's the mode we want. And another colour, but I can't tell because I'm colour blind. It wouldn't be a, a neo vloggy without a certain someone being here, would it? No, it wouldn't. Who's that certain someone? I don't know. They're not here. They're not. <gasps> oh, they're here! It's hey, Mike! Boys and girls. Mike's I'm back. <laughs> Mike, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> uh, Frankfurters. Ian! Hello! He's back! He's putting up some it's been so long. Uh, we finished the third barn. There it is, with Ian inside of it. <laughs> right there. We'll cut to that and we'll um, ignore those trolleys. Yeah, ignore the trolleys. They're not going to stay there. Ignore the little plastic chairs. Um, yeah, this is the third barn. Anyway, who's going to do these people? Oh, right, yeah. Who are I'm you? rude. Uh, I'm Rafe. I'm your friend. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Fawn. Who are you? I'm Alton. That's who they are. And I'm Jake. Here it is. Here's the final bar. Um, it's a bit more rustic. It's pretty rustic, this one. Um, and the reason we've gone for the more rustic look um, is because we ran out of set dressing. Because we've never had to set up this much. Three barns. Three barns. We're just used to the one big one. one. Now we've got some uh, candles and stuff in there again. More candles. That's about it. I know. Oh, okay, so that's all three barns done, which is pretty good going, and it's probably about half full. So I'm gonna go up to the camping field and see who's arrived, see what's going on. Yeah, it's only Thursday, so there's a lot of people still to arrive. This is the out of character barn. 
Hey, I'm gonna go to Hello there. Yeah. Oh, I'm a bitch. What's this? Not as messed well, up as I thought it would be in here. I've been chatting to him once, that one. What episode? I was told that Louis uh, cut or splits their airbeds, but it turns out it wasn't Louis. No. Oh. There, there, there was a bit of a struggle going on up yeah, here. Yeah, go just find now. out. Go on, Simon. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you do it. I, I, keep I, it, I, keep I don't it, know how to tent anymore. <laughs> I keep it said, Have you got it, Sultan? As if on cue, oh, the tent just like, spring oh, back. Oh, <laughs> oh, look, who's this? <gasps> I don't know. Who am I? It's, it's Louis. It's Louis. It's Louis. Remember him? Oh. And then who's this here? Hello. It's Kobe. I'm with them. It's getting later in the day, getting later in the day. We're setting up on the Thursday, getting stuff done, getting stuff put into position. It's going to be an epic weekend. I mean, this is the first time I've seen this site and the site is huge, it's fantastic. So we're just going around the site, we're doing a bit of a recce, setting up a few more encounters and we found this perfect location for the Sh Shroomsford Post. We grew this tree. <laughs> just for this purpose. <laughs> right now we've just been placing uh, Nim Nims, which are a type of or a nickname for a type of fungus, which has some interesting properties that the players are going to find out this weekend. It's going to be fantastic. If you look around, we've got them dotted around this location and we'll have a couple encounters tying into that. And hopefully it will have some entertaining results. You can just about see the little red balls hanging in the trees all the way around here. So yeah, players are going to have to find these, crack them open. Just shows how much more we can do with uh, a bigger site, really. It's fantastic. Proper job! <laughs> So it's coming up to half eight in the evening. We've done quite a lot of setup today, which is good. Got all the barns done. We got a load of little interesting areas set up as well. Um, various quest hubs, that sort of thing. So yeah, we're just messing about now. Some people are having a few little combat lessons. It's gonna start to get dark, so I'm gonna see what the barns look like over here. Let's have a look in the barn at night time. I think this lighting is looking really nice. Slowly moving everything over to LED lighting rather than having candles. Because candles are expensive and LED lighting you just keep reusing. You've just got to pay for batteries, which are fairly cheap. So, this rabble have just got back from the pub. <laughs> hey, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> Make me feel. They went to three rounds. You make me feel like a natural. So, <laughs> we got a full moon this weekend. Well, I'm up here. Gonna have a look at this barn here. The Arts and Crafts barn, as people are calling it. So, again, the lighting's really decent. It's uh, Friday afternoon and we are doing a bit of setup. Players are slowly arriving, crew slowly getting here, and um, I'm currently setting up the Moon Glen. Stick these on top. So, if, if anyone's familiar with the Moon Glen, <clears throat> you'll know that it was an uh, important location at the Caddington estate, but it's actually that tours me now. And the reason for that, in character, is because Redellium, a goblin leader in Scorth, has drawn the Moon Glen to this location. He was trying to pull it fully to the southwest, but so far he's only managed to draw it to this location at the new estate. If he does manage to pull it all the way to his location, it's not going to be fun for anyone in the world of Neothera, is it? So, 
<coughs> the players at this event will be trying to remove any corruption that Redellium has put over the Moon Glen and just stop it from travelling any further to the south. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? I'm just running away from <laughs> Ian. <laughs> That's not terrifying. Really. Truly. You're not running away from me, you're running away from Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, we're just uh we're at the shrine we've made up for this event. You've made. Yes. You've yeah. made, and it is beautiful. <laughs> As you'd expect with any uh, all-powerful, all all, uh, all-loving creature such as Dagda, people start following them. And this shrine in the world of Neothera was created by the followers of Dagda. And the players are going to be able to expend resources and time and to create a ritual that will benefit them in, in, in quite a few interesting ways, really. Well, so many of the players did take to Dagda. Yeah, oh them. yeah, definitely, yeah. They love Dagda. Just in case you don't know who Dagda is, let's cut away to Dagda now. What are we doing? Well, we're sorting out the kit room. We've got so much. Usually at Caddo, we've, it's all packed into one room, but we've got so much space and we've got neatly layers hands. Monster costumes for this weekend. We've got Corrupted Elementals. We've got they, I'll tell you about they later. <laughs> <laughs> we got some more NPC costumes here. We got goblin masks. We got lots of gobos this weekend. Furs, random bits, big bag of armor. Ooh. Oh yeah, I've got plates. Yep, plates. And a Louis. Oh, <gasps> I come with the room. It's the strangest thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> We're putting sprite eggs into uh, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> nests. So these are Orbeez. The players need to collect sprite eggs and sprites nest in these kind of birdhouse shaped things. They've got lights at the top, so in the dark they'll be illuminated. You can do the honors. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Lovely. There's another four nests, so we've got five in total. So, players, have fun collecting your sprite eggs later. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Running. Seeing the players. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Nice. Can we come with you? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, not him. <laughs> I forgot my hair clippers, so I can't shave my head. Ooh. Really That's sad. Okay. Really sad. Oh, I've got, um, Lots more people just turned up somewhere. Here. <laughs> oh, oh, I've never Hello. seen you so happy. Hi. I'm the I'm I'm the hot one. Sure. <laughs> hey, I can lie to myself. <laughs> I'm being photographer. Hi. So is it a few people allowed sure. to go? To I'm not I'm So you're okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Good. Good to see you all. Well. I think I got blown up anyway. Who are these guys? I don't know. I have no idea. Quite happy here. Thank you. Happy. I'm not particularly. I'm just here. Cross passing. 
Yeah. You're laid in. So as long as he goes. Yeah. I know, in goes with us. Now you back off or I'll shoot that stupid fox off your head. Well he's already been shot. I'll shoot him again. What one of them? I yeah. just saw a twitch! Whoa! Ingo, Ingo. Yeah. Willem, Willem, you want to defend this place with all of your might, yes? Oh, well. This person is the best I person defending anything. I can vouch for Ingo. I can vouch for Ingo. Can vouch for Ingo. Can vouch for Ingo. Yes. But I don't know you. So, Lay and Carmine, Terminarium. Okay, fair stuff. No, you'd like to meet you, though. Very well. No, because I don't have Terminarium, though. There you go. The main thing is, is you're both here with the intent that a knowledge that you feel something bad is coming and you want that to not happen here. So you have the same goals. Right, that's same general thing. That might mean something to you. Well, I felt something brought me here. There you go. Guys, it's fate. It's fate. But fate has been keeping me. Yeah. Fate okay. brought me. In, yeah. the, in, the, in the honesty of, you know, opening my yeah, eyes to new things and being able to admit when I was a little bit wrong, not fully. Well, I'm to Mark. If I'm here for a divine purpose and you can send it. Ingo Rasbetten, world famous inventor. Have you have you been told by anyone to leave here? Well, well, not leave, but more go somewhere else. And we went. Well, we're such an, it's a nice place, and we'd hate to see it, you know, fall into where, 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 where the brotherhood's you, hands. Where were you um, told to go? But where were you told to go? Home. Oh. Back to the front. But. My divine purpose has kept me here. I'm just waiting for it to show itself. Do you, are you aware that the Brotherhood of uh, the fight will yeah. the fight will never never stop. Right. The fight against evil. Okay. So I was going to say the Brotherhood of the Green Wolf. Yeah. See, we're good. We're friends, mate. Right. Okay. Well, that makes sense to me. Yeah. I was. I didn't think oh, this. Was, I thought this was destroyed when it was last used uh, about a year or two ago. No, maybe three years ago. So to see it back is, uh, yeah. Oh, unless he's trying to bring Faye back. Oh. Ingo said he's got a few upgrades to show. Yes, um, and I'm curious to know if he's aiming to bring Faye back. I think that was the plan last time. That's her, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, right, I thought we killed you. I'm here. Get him away from it. Get him away. Don't let them get to the middle. Magic wand. Use elemental powers. If you've got elemental attacks, use them. Get him away. The longer they stay there, the worse things are going to get. Before you do, I think it's a bit of a debrief for amongst all of our people here. Not me, Get everyone together. We need to go through this quick. This is important. Right, back over that, everyone. So, a very long story short, those pillars are very, very important. Those things that we just saw want to destroy them. Those things that we just saw are weak to elemental damage calls. Ice, fire, that sort of thing. So if you have access to those things, invoke them. What? Uh, that is the very, very long and short of what's going on. Uh, there is a possibility that people are being brought here, like ourselves, Ingo, and Captain uh, Willem de Mark to congregate to this location. And if these are in multiple locations, these pillars, we're going to have to defend on multiple fronts. It's probably something a bit more pressing I should tell you about, Chiefs. <laughs> that machine in there, right, it used to be something that opened up portals in time. Like you said, long story short, yeah. it's not anymore. No, okay. what it is, it's a device to remove corruption from the Moon Glen. Right. The Moon Glen used to be at Caddington. Caddington's gone. Do you know why Caddington's gone? No, no I don't. No. No, neither do I, but the Moon Glen's here anyway. We need to check. If it's here, if all of it's here, there's eight pillars and there's what, like? Four there. Four. So we need to check the other two here. It looks like it's fractured for whatever reason. Those corrupted guys are still going to keep coming over to it. They're going to pour their essence into it. The more corrupted it comes, it's going to move again. Southwest. Have you heard of score? Anyone? Yes. I actually went down there about a year ago when there was goblins misbehaving there. Yeah, it's, it's full of goblins. Yeah. Heard of Redellium? Redellium Rahulium? Yeah. Yes, I know about them. No. Right, War Chief of the Bowtown Clan. Mm. He is yeah. the one oh, that is no. pulling it towards him. Ah. Do you know why he wants to do that? For some reason. He wants he... to bring felt magic across in the affair, though. He wants to finish the burning. Yeah. Right. Not good. Oh. Yeah. That's fine. Basically, don't let those get corrupted. Now that machine in there, there's eight lights on it. At the moment, we're on a threat level six. When we get to eight, 
those things start getting pulled towards him again. So, if he gets all eight of the pillars, we need to check the other four are here, then uh, yeah, I think we're all in a bit of trouble. There's enough people at this party to do two groups. Now, it's great that I've got a bag on me. Does anyone have a pen and a notebook? Yeah. Can you write all this information down and maybe what is that? Because no one's writing this down. Why is no one writing all this information down? This is the journeyman on it, so read the journeyman copy. Hold it. Guys, the original's under attack! Oh, uh, we're gonna sit here and the We're gonna be a bit of bigger things to do! Jasper, you're right. Thank you. Might want to get down here now. What's your guilt? Uh, the triple M. Oh, the triple M? Yes, yeah, so that's for medics, makers, and menders. That's it. So it's meant for, yeah, crafting medic man. medics. That's all. I'm a medic, I'm a medic. Perfect. Well, I've told all the perks about it. Probably not now, just in case we get attacked. Is it a time machine? Is this, yeah, maybe. So we need to find that. But we can't use it until we find the pixie. Right. That's why they're acting like a child. Everything that has gone on, I uh. Oh, there's no back in that as well. Hey, hey! We really. Not as funny. So weird. Uh, I am Sontar Moonbow. Oh my god. <laughs> we shall return briefly and I shall bring as many as I can. Mine, mine, mine! Get ready! You have to follow what I do, okay? Put these down. Put these down. Hold the chicken by its throat. Were you holding my baby by the throat? Okay, we're going to do what I call the angel. They need to ask it. Jump to the face. Get your tail. And then be really mean to the person in front of you. No, no, you are not going to be we're gonna do the band strum. They look the most like. Is anyone here a fee? They look the most like a fee. Everyone pretend to eat them. I then pretend. I bring it up. We're doing the band strum. What's your tummy, Elsa? Later. But 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 listen. The whole time you have to cry because you wish you were still a fee yourself. To cry whilst eating. Don't we all do that sometimes? I wish I was a face. I just you want to give us the recipe? Yes! We are. Wait, well, you're picking, you're holding me. <laughs> because otherwise. What's the reason? To save the world. You won't be able to. You like killing people, right? You won't be able to do that anymore. No more. No more. No more death. No more destruction. If you don't give us the recipe. Is that everyone? Yeah. No. Yeah. We have not seen yours. That's true. Yes. Just don't eat. We're going to fry, I think. Straight up the ah. Listen to Sontar next time. Yeah, don't. Did you know there's something else you need to find? Eggs. Oh. Have you seen some weird looking nests recently? Oh. Are they blue? Are the eggs oh. blue? Oh. I don't know if they're Are the eggs blue? Um, I don't know. Because they are, they're all of them. Them. Um, No, it's not chicken yeah. eggs. So, yeah, so these basically can make the rest of them. Yeah, don't eat them. What do they say that happens if I break this bucket? Or what amount of people are in this room? You will know when you find it. 
I can learn this to create in the future. Right. So if you just give me time to learn this recipe, then I can create it in the future. But anyone can use this scroll. Oh, oh yes. okay. Ah, right. So you're coming at. Hey, I'll give you some of I'm not scared. Why did you take them from the elf girl? You gave them to the elf girl. Yeah. Why does she go? Where's the mother? Don't worry. Instead of me reading, she doesn't have a kid. She doesn't have a kid. That's the only one. The captain. Yeah, she'll create any kid. Yes, do you know about the kid? And she was born with a female DC. Or you might know something about her. She was born and it's something about blood magic pain. Do you think it's anything about magic? No, but Fanny, yes, it does. Oh look, it's like one in the morning and everyone's gathered around the campfire after a hard night's crew. What happened tonight then? Someone's dead, aren't they? Well, as, we, as I had to actually we, clarify to one of our crew members, not an actual person is killed, um, but a, a player's character is dead. Aren't they? One of your little friends. Yeah. Yeah, they're Part they're of your guild. Of the day. No dead. mercy. <laughs> Just dead. Except the Died. Right up, died. They got killed by some coffin masks. Yeah. It's died. It was vampire. How can you kill vampire? Exactly. Eh? And then they tried to, dead. And they tried to ask the nature god to bring it back. A dead body. And it was just like, uh, no. You got the nature god to bring back undead bodies? Yeah. Oh, crazy people do this. <laughs> dead. Bodies are already dead. It's all fun times all around. Yeah. 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 Yeah.